Welcome to our justusfriends.org site and welcome to our video library. We have many videos on many topics, but many of you out there from all over the world have written with requests for videos to help you through life challenges. I know many of you live in countries and in places where your resources are few, and so I'm really happy if on your iPhone or iPod or computer we can be a little bit of help in tough times. One of the things that many of you have written about in many different forms is the great challenge that we know is true of all of our lives, and that's the impermanence of those precious, cherished things that we attach to. And the idea of losing something precious is a catastrophic and scary thing. And yet, we know that one of those truths about life is that everything we have and everything we love will leave us at some point, unless we're the one to leave first. So scary and horrible as it sounds, everybody we love will leave at some point, and whether it's our money or our home or prized possessions, there's always the possibility of losing what gives us security and safety or just joy in our life. This is hard. And so many of the questions that I get from you is are questions like I find that I have a terminal diagnosis so here's somebody who's losing their life or my partner is leaving me and I'm getting a divorce and I don't know if I can go on without them or for many even harder my child is very sick, and I'm afraid they're going to die. Or I've lost my job. I'm losing my house. I've lost a great deal of money in the stock market. All of these fears are enormous. Now here's a meditation that's a hard one to do. But actually, even though it's not very soothing, it is a good meditation to practice. And that is to consider every day all of those people and things that we cherish and just simply saying to ourselves, and this too, is very likely to be gone someday. It does not sound very comforting, but it does help us keep a view of reality so that when that day comes, we're a little more prepared and a little more realistic about what every day is capable of bringing to us. We hear about the proverbial bus that may come along and take us out of the picture, and it sounds dire, but the truth is anybody who is in our life and precious to us could possibly not be with us at the end of the day. How to keep this perspective at the same time we open to life and 
joy and love and appreciate all that we have and make the most every day of all that we have and know that sometimes a loss hard as it is is just the next chapter in our story. It does not take away the pain. It's not meant to diminish the loss. And yet, it is life, and it is what happens to every single one of us. A lot of times, if I'm giving a talk, I look out around the room and I look at all of those faces and I imagine every single person in this space has had unspeakable losses. And the tears of everyone in this room could fill the space. It is so hard being human. Everybody has suffering. There is no one who's immune. So if you are facing divorce, or your own death, or even the death, the possible death of your child, or your child has died, to look at that loss honestly and as a part of reality, and to hold it all in the vast view of what we all signed up for in taking on humanness it takes a lot of courage. But in your loving yourself, in your going day to day, in your taking a little bit at a time, in being kind to yourself, and in trusting that in some way all that unfolds can be managed and can be the beginning of the next step and the next step and the next step. We can do it. And it may be that out of that comes a clarity of our spiritual path. So now here at this site, at justusfriends.org, we're always sending you blessings and prayers for courage and to feel held in something that is vaster than all of us and that will give us support on this very tough journey.